Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're looking at the latest news surrounding New Horizons, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So today a brand new mini trailer I guess you would call it was revealed for Animal Crossing New Horizons showing off the island bulletin board in greater detail. Of course we'll get to that in just a sec but first a little history. The bulletin board is a feature that's been present in every mainline Animal Crossing game and is somewhat the focus point of the game especially at the beginning. In earlier games the bulletin board was located near the villager houses, in Wild World and City Folk it was next to the town hall building and in New Leaf it was beside the train station, so it's always close by. The bulletin board is pretty much an in-game notification system and a way to communicate with fellow players and villagers through text. Typically notices would appear about upcoming events or weather warnings, but you can often find birthday messages, times and dates for sales at Tom Nook's for example, and even treasure hunt instructions which is a personal favourite. However the player has always had complete control over these notices and can create and post their own anytime they want. The bulletin board also introduced the yellow bird during the day and an owl at night. These little critters basically indicate whether there's a new notice to read which is super useful. Of course the bulletin board is returning to New Horizons, we saw it pretty early on but today is the first time we get a good look at the functionality of it and even a brand new feature. So to begin with you can see the player using her Nook phone and opening up her Nook Mars app. Here she scrolls down to the bulletin board benefit which reads, picture this, getting Nook Mars from Nook Inc. The first time you write something on your island's bulletin board. Keep using this bulletin board to communicate with everyone on the island, yes yes. So it's pretty obvious this is towards the beginning of the game and not only encourages to take advantage of Nook Mars but also to use the bulletin board. Of course the player then heads to the board to write their first message. As soon as the board opens up we can see some of the previous notices that were posted. I won't read them out but as you can see they're pretty much just explaining the purpose of the board and how it can be used. These two are probably the first two notices to appear but if this is anything like the original we'll be able to scroll through the whole backlog of notices. Anyway this is where it gets really interesting because for the first time in any Animal Crossing game we can actually draw directly onto a notice whether it's words or a picture instead of writing out a message using text which is super cool. This example shows the player drawing hello with a doodle of a tent, the Japanese version of the trailer is the same but draws something slightly different. But both give you an idea of what's possible. As you can see creating a classic text style notice is possible with the on screen keyboard but there are also four different coloured pencils for drawing or writing using the touch screen as well as an eraser for the perfectionist out there. It seems there is an ink limit too based on the pencil to the right of the board which gets lower the more the user draws and finally there are three different pen thicknesses available too so it's pretty cool. So really, the reason this is interesting is because it confirms touchscreen capabilities in New Horizons, which is the first time we've seen this I believe. Of course this is a good indication that things like the pattern designing tool, which will be used to make custom patterns, and the postcard system could also make use of this feature. Anyway, once the notice is complete you can see it's added to the board and then it can be viewed by anyone on the island. I'm pretty sure they stay there forever unless the player deletes it. The trailer wraps up with the player checking her Nook Mars app once again and claiming her Nook Mars reward. So yeah, this is really cool. The bulletin board feature is great anyway, especially if you plan on hosting a lot of multiplayer on your island or if like me you want to offer nice little treasure hunts for your visitors. But the drawing feature is definitely a cool addition to this and something that we should probably have expected at, at this point. Animal Crossing New Horizons seems to be stepping up nearly every aspect of the game so far. So yeah, personally, I love this feature. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment bulletin board. Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include if you like the touchscreen feature and whether or not you'll be opting for a stylus. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.